is your key. Take it out, put it somewhere far away from the car so that when you take the oil out, you ain't gonna start it. Oil pump. <laughs> so uh, this is what I got off uh, eBay, for eBay. Uh, and it's just a pump that connects to your 12 volt battery in your car. So I'm a bit out of breath, been running around with this camera stick. Um, this goes on your positive, this goes on your negative. But when you do it, make sure that's switched off. Then what you want to do is the thin end, it's actually got a direction on the front of the ear. Ooh, knock the tripod. Got a direction on the front of the ear, so all you got to do is stick that down your dipstick tube and put the other end, which goes down here, into a container of some sort to collect the oil. Oil filter housing. Bosh! It's right there. The uh, 32 millimeter socket. This is a multi-spline Halfords. I know it's not clean. The tool admin's horrendous. I'm going put this one here. So that'll go on there. Ratchet with an extension. Lefty loosey, righty tighty. 12 volt pump. Lying down there. Pop the filter off. On the battery. This can that lovely. Now we've got the oil out. I'm going to stick this oil in there. So you're going to need a screwdriver like this. Focus. The flat head. Bottle of oil. We're going to open the bottle of oil. Apple Watch. Um, then what we're going to do is we're going to poke a hole. like so, and then a little hole at the top. And basically what's gonna happen is that when we pour it in, it's gonna come out the bottom hole and the air, it's gonna come out that hole and the air is gonna go in that hole. Let's have this a go. We need to put something around here. Shazam! Oh. Shazam! So now what we're gonna do, is we're gonna try and get the oil in the hole. Well, I haven't got a, you can basically you can use a little funnel. I haven't got a funnel, but I'm trying to show you. So if you were going to do this and you bought that pump off eBay, you can do it yourself and you don't need loads of stuff. Just got to be a bit careful. So I'm just going to do that till this one's empty and then do that eight more times. Well, you have on mine, yours might not have the same capacity online. I've got a V8, 3.6 litre V8, and it's about nine and a half litres, so a few more to go. This is actually after I've done it, because I was so smart, I didn't take myself to move and take myself, didn't, didn't record myself removing the filter, so I'm going to show you. So this basically, when you take that uh, filter housing off or filter cap, whatever you want to call it, with your 32mm, this is going to be stuck to the bottom of it. Pull it off, and as you can see, there's a grommet there. The other thing you'll notice is an O-ring, which will be on the cap. You'll get, you will get should get one on the box. If you do, put a little bit of the oil around it, and you should be good. However, when you put this in, make sure that you... <coughs> Ooh, bent it over too far. Uh, make sure that this bit goes in first, seat it correctly, it pushes in, and then you just screw the cap on, screw it on nice and snug, say about 35 newton meters, something like that, not crazy. When I say 35 newton meters, you're turning it on, it stops. You ain't got a torque wrench, you're pretty much done, mate. So now what we're gonna do, dipstick. So let's see if this focuses in. Oh, it works. I've always seen that, I always wanted to do it. Um, so, we're going to use this dipstick and we want the oil to be hopefully around here. Uh, now, oil filter's empty. Oh, look, flipping the glove. Oil filter's empty. Oh, hello, wifey. Um, so, what, uh, but basically, we're going to have to turn it over to fill the oil filter up, leave it for 20 minutes, and then check it again. So, the first one we want to do, I've put in around nine liters. Uh, I'm, I've, I've already checked in, I'm gonna show you on the camera. Check it again, it's gonna be just fine. Boop. Just leave it a second, pull it out. 
That's what they always say. I'm not gonna have a look. Oh, where's the camera? There we go. So it's just below here, which is great. So I'm gonna turn it over. Hopefully it won't explode. And then uh, we'll do another check before I do. Make sure you put the cap back on if you've taken it off to fill the oil. Been there, done that. Also, cap back on, take all this off. You don't want to restart your engine, with, especially this, in your engine bay. Shizam. So we've got the oil filter in, we've got the oil in, we've got the oil cap on, and if I pair left, we've got the dipstick back in. Let's give it a test. Final checks, just make sure everything is off the engine bay. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the key that we put aside before and crank it up. Always take your key out. So now we've gone and, uh, oh, we're moving around. So I've obviously dipped it, uh, turned it over. I've checked that there's nothing leaking out the cap, so the cap's nice and tight. I've checked there's nothing leaking out of around the housing, because obviously you've just put a new uh, seal on, possibly. Some people don't. I disagree. But you really should. You really should put a new filter. Yeah. Because if, if that are in split, but the I can never speak on any of these videos. If the O-ring splits, you're going to be buggered. Uh, so yeah, make sure you change the O-ring on the cap. But yeah, not looking too bad, so I'm gonna leave that for a little bit while I do. Best way of, uh, well I do it, is a uh, bit of WD-40 on a rag and just give it a nice, uh, give it a nice white round. My engine cover uh, needs to get a new one. That is FUBAR. Uh, you probably know what FUBAR is, don't need to explain that. Uh, so I'm gonna, that's gonna go back on, but it's gonna start rubbing here. Ooh, finger, yeah, there. Uh, because the rubber pad that goes in this section is uh, missing and the plastic is snapped off. So I'm gonna get a new one of them. Uh, today, maybe not today, tomorrow, I'm gonna do a uh, fuel filter, uh, air filter. I'm actually missing a screw. I'm gonna get a new one of them, like my gloves. Need new gloves. I'm gonna top up the screen wash. Uh, I'm gonna check the power steering fluid. You can also see down the side, we'll get a light again so you can see the level, it's actually okay. Check that before, it's what I did earlier. And then uh, the coolant, so on these vehicles we have a range, so a cold full range. I know I've just taken the engine over, but it ain't hot. Uh, so the cold full range is still fine and it's still within that. So the stuff I used in the video. So we've got, I've uh, got my filters from a place called BMR. Oh, half the market. Yep. So that's the uh, oil filter I used. This is a uh, Halfords wrench. That's a half inch. With an extension and a Halfords 32 millimeter um, multi-spline socket. I also used a multimeter because I'm a bit of a skeptic. It was an eBay purchase and thought it might destroy my battery, so I made sure I kept uh, checking my battery voltage, didn't drop too low, didn't even go between below 12.2 to be fair, but I'll stick that on charge, as you heard before, it did turn over, there goes the box, it did turn over, so it's still got charged, but I'll uh, charge that with my uh, independent battery charger. I also used some oil, so the oil I used was uh, Magnetec Professional. Uh, Alpha 5, 5 Whiskey 30 or 5W30, however you want to say it, uh, and that's Castrol, so that's the stuff that I actually got that from a dealership. Um, obviously, it didn't take the sun plug out because I used a, uh, a blooming, uh, what do you call it? Ah, a pump. Uh, WD40, just gave it a little clean round, as you can see. Not, no, it's not a detail. Detail. It's just a bit cleaner and it protects and stops rust and stuff and a rag oh. and a big screwdriver that's all you need easy peasy fantastico